Hey queens, welcome back to my channel, welcome to this video. I hope you've had a lovely day. I know I'm wearing the same outfit as my Project Pam video, but that is because I'm filming this on the same day and I didn't feel like changing clothes, so. Yeah. This video is my monthly empties, basically just products that I was able to use up for this month of January. So let's just get well, into it. It seems like I have a lot here, but that's only because I used up a lot of samples. I was ready to just ditch them out of my collection. I don't need them hanging around, so that's why it feels like there's a lot in here. First, I used this Becca Bright Eyes in an Instant Prime and Correct sample. I used the primer and then the light to medium thing. I didn't like it, so I really didn't use up the whole thing, so yeah, that's money I'm going to be saving. Also, what's the point in priming your under eyes? Scam. Next we have here is the It Confidence in a Cream, Net Cream, sorry. Um, I used this like twice before it got all like gross. Oh, I think something's leaking in there. That's, that's nice. Okay. Um, I mean it's, it felt nice, but the thing is, why use a net cream when I can just use my moisturizer or face cream that I'm already using? I just, another scam to get your money, basically. Next, Global Beauty Care Collagen Spa Treatment Mask. My mom gave this to me and I mean, I liked it. I don't know if it was anti-aging or anything, but it felt nice. Next, I used the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp Scrub with pink, with pink Himalayan Sea Salt. Um, this product wasn't bad. It just required more effort to get it out of my scalp than I liked. There was one time where I actually had like a whole chunk of product over here and I didn't realize it till it was too late. So probably not a product that I'm gonna get again because it just took too much effort. Plus it was smelly because it was apple cider vinegar, so ew. <laughs> Mom, Grandma, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I'm talking about my butt on the internet, but <laughs> they need love too. Um, we sit on our bottoms all day long. I, I don't know what's happening to the skin back there, but hey, it needs some love too. And that's why I have a butt sheet mask. This one is the Body and Sephora Collection. I know that you can get them online at Ulta. But this one is the Own It Mineral Superfood Butt Sheet Mask. It's balancing and purifying. And let's see. What does this one say? This Body X Sephora Collection Butt Sheet Mask has mineral superpowers that balance and purify your skin. Packed with antioxidants, it helps combat free radicals, leaving your skin smoothed, refreshed, and perfectly hydrated. The low down on butt skincare. From sweaty leggings to sitting down for hours, your butt goes through a lot, like I said. It's as sensitive as the skin on your face, so it's about time you show it some love. So, yeah, sorry mom, sorry grandma, but I'm giving my butt some care, all right? I, you know, I don't mind this product. I will continue to buy these just because I want to make sure that I'm taking care of my skin as best as possible, and I know we forget about other parts of our bodies besides our face, so I don't mind using this. And it's the only butt sheet mask on the market, so I'm not going to get them anywhere else. I also use the Bio Republic Cucumber Breeze Soothing Fiber Mask with Vitamin E. Um, it was just a basic sheet mask. I enjoyed it, felt nice, felt good. It was given to me, so I don't know where I would repurchase this. I'm so happy I got through one of these. So a couple years ago, my mom decided that she was getting rid of all her Bath and Body stuff and going more natural, 
well, I'm like, hey, like, give it all to me so I don't have to spend money on, you know, fragrances or lotions or anything. So she gave it all to me, and I've been working through mine and her collection combined, which is a lot because she hoarded it. So I got through the Frosted Coconut Snowball Fragrance Mist, which I actually purchased this one because I love coconut. So this one wasn't terrible. I just wish I smelt more coconut in it. I have the Morphe Jeffree Star Set in Fresh Mist, the Starberry Scent. Didn't hate it. I probably won't purchase another one because I think it was a couple extra dollars for this. And really it's not worth a couple extra dollars for a fragrance. And yeah, I understand there's like, there's some skincare properties in it, but like, mm, it's still good. It still works just as well. I have another Bio Republic Pomegranate Crush Illuminating Fiber Mask with Vitamin E. It was also a gift, so I don't know where I'm going to get it, but I did like this mask. In fact, in my hyper chaotic get ready with me, this is the mask that I used, so. Oh, I also talk about this product, I think, in another video. I think it's that chaotic one. Yeah. So this is the Fall for Pumpkin Body Shop Body Butter. I I like the Body Shop. I really only like the strawberry scent, but I also really loved this one. This was so nice. If it comes out again next fall, I would definitely repurchase it. But yeah, this is the only thing I like besides the strawberry line. Here we have a sample of the Vichy Laboratories Mineral 89 Booster Keratinide and Fortifying Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. That that was a lot. Uh, I felt like there was no point in this product. It was dumb. I'm not going to purchase it. Ah! I got through a chapstick. Who gets through a whole chapstick? It took me a year. This is like the absolute bottom. I mean, granted there's still product like in there, but like I can't get it on my lips. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi chapstick. I love this chapstick. If I can get another one, I definitely am going to. I really like the packaging. It was magnetic. It was really nice. I got it on clearance. And yeah, I really enjoyed this. Oh, this is a sad, sad case. Technically it's not an empty, but it was a Milani blush that broke. I didn't do anything to it. I simply opened it and it just, just came undone. Um, because of that reason, I won't purchase another one because I don't want to waste my money. Um, but yeah, that sucks. So in my butter collection face palette, it also came with the scent. Um, I noticed that a lot of it was gone, even though I've only used it once, maybe, maybe. And then the color has changed. I believe it was clear and now it's like brown. So just to be safe, I'm just going to toss it. Ooh, this one was also a project. Uh, this is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and it is empty. This took me a year to finish up. Um, I don't plan on buying any more eye primers just because I can use concealer and probably save money. Um, if MAC Painterly Paint Pot or any of the paint pots ever went on sale, maybe I would think about purchasing them because they do last so, so long. That would be the only reason I would consider buying an eye primer. Next I have the Benefit Roller Lash, which I actually received from Jeffrey from one of his makeup classes. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I can finally try this mascara. I've been wanting to try it because he raves about it, but I hate it and I used it up. Won't be repurchasing. 
Next, I have the Fit Me Powder in Buff Beige 130. There is a little bit in there, but it's basically pointless at this point. Uh, last year, I bought three of these. This was the third one, so I would use one, buy one, use one, buy one. And this was the last one that I used, so I did repurchase it. This is the only pressed powder that I like to use. This is my perfect shade. Won't try another powder unless someone asked me to or sent me one. Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I've already mentioned in my Project Pan, I hate this concealer. This shade was too light for me, so I bought a darker shade to see if I would like the formula. I don't. Can't wait to get that out of my Project Pan and out of my collection. Another sample. It's the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. Cute. At first, I hated this product. It stung my face, which it says you can't expect that. But I was just like, ugh, I, I don't know. I'm not feeling this. But the next day, I, my skin felt like a baby's bottom. I couldn't believe it. If I find this at TJ Maxx, you best believe I'm getting this product. But I will not pay full price because Kate Somerville is expensive. Let's get all the samples out of the way first off. Lancome Youth Activating Concentrate. I don't even remember using this, so I'm just going to say that it was pointless and I'm not going to repurchase it. The Derma E Hydrating Day Cream. I actually really enjoyed this, but I wouldn't pay full price for it. It's the First Aid Pores Be Gone Matte Primer with Fig Extract, oil-free, safe for sensitive skin. It's just not as good as the Touch and Soul Pore Ply Pore Problem. Problem? No pore. Oh, it's not as good as the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. So. I probably won't purchase this. The Elmis Eye Recovery Cream. Now, I've talked about getting rid of eye creams just to use my face cream, you know? Because what's the point of buying another product and adding another step? But I actually really liked this product. If I find this at TJ Maxx, I'll buy it then, but I will never pay full price for it. The last sample is the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. It was okay. I'm probably not going to purchase it, so meh. Uh, this is from my Project Pan, the Jeffree Star Powder. You know, I don't like this product. Won't repurchase. <laughs> oh, this guy. This, this guy. So. This is the Too Faced Do You Foundation. I ripped into it because there was a lot of foundation left in it. It's now separated and there's like oil in everywhere. So that's nice. I didn't like it. Um, when it stopped pumping product, I opened it up and there's still a lot of product in there. So I tried using it up, but it just was separating and just gross and I'm getting Too Faced products out of my collection anyways, so goodbye do you foundation forever. Benefit brow mascara, won't repurchase, don't like it, didn't work for my crazy brow hairs. What is this doing in here? Oh yeah, that's right. So this is the Pure Lip Mist. I did enjoy this until I got to this point because it just sprayed in big old drops and like made my makeup look bad and took some of my foundation off actually so it was good until this point so I won't repurchase because I can't use up the whole product because the spray gets weird so okay so that's everything that I used up for this month I enjoy these types of videos I like seeing what people have used up and what they plan on repurchasing. If you like this video, please give it a like. Pretty please, pretty please. 
Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell if you want to see more empties. I will post it every month if I have like enough products to show. If not, it'll probably be every other month, just depending. Comment down below what products you have used up for this month or products that you want to use up. Or simply just comment something random like, I hate your face. I don't know. Still helps me out, so hey. Alright, without any further ado, y'all have a good one now.